Hi everyone! Today we're gonna learn how to crochet one of the favorite autumn symbols, a pumpkin, that you can use to decorate your home to get more coziness and autumn mood around you. So to crochet the pumpkin you will need two colors of t-shirt yarn. I will use this terracotta color as a main color for the pumpkin and dark green color for its stems. You can choose any colors you want. You will also need a 7 mm hook, scissors and a needle with a big eye. So let's start and I hope you will enjoy crocheting the pumpkin the same as me. First we start from making 14 chain stitches. If you are completely a beginner in crocheting, watch my video about basic crochet techniques where I teach how to make all basic stitches very detailed, including chain stitches, single crochet and other stitches that you will use to crochet a pumpkin. So I will leave the link for that video here in the corner to this video and in the description down below. And you can come back to this video after you learn those basic crochet stitches. So as I said, we start from making 14 chain stitches. One, two, The size of your future pumpkin depends on the length of this chain that we make in the beginning. So if you make a longer chain, then you will get a bigger pumpkin. If you make a smaller chain, then you will get a smaller pumpkin. So now we start to crochet the first row and to the second, uh, to the second stitch from the hook. So this one is the first one. And this one is the second one. So to this stitch, to the second one, we make a slip stitch. For this, we insert the hook to the stitch, hook the yarn, and push it through this loop on the hook. To the next stitch, we make single crochet then we should make two half double crochet to the next two stitches first half double crochet and the second one to the next stitch. After that, we make five double crochet to the next five stitches.
And now we will start to crochet the same stitches as we've made before we started to crochet, double crochet. So here, this piece, we will repeat here, but in the opposite direction. If here we started with a slip stitch, here we will start with half double crochet, two half double crochet. One half double crochet and the second one. Then we had one single crochet. And then a slip stitch. So here we also make slip stitch to the last stitch of the chain. And we have finished our first row. To start the second row, we make chain one or a turning chain, just like this, and we turn our crochet. The second row we will make completely the same way, uh, all the same stitches, but only uh, one difference. We will insert our hook only under the back loops of the stitches. Not like this. This is wrong. Only under the back loop. These loops. So the first stitch was a slip stitch. Then we made one single crochet. Then two half double crochet. Then five double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, five double crochet, and then again these stitches, and we start from two half double crochet. Then we had single crochet. A slip stitch here the last stitch and the second row is finished all next rows we will make the same way I will show you one more row the third one so first we make Turn in chain, turn our crochet, 
and then again start with a slip stitch. Then one single crochet. Don't forget that we insert the hook only under the back loops of the stitches. So next two half double crochet. Then five double crochet. Now we make two half double crochet. Then one single crochet. And a slip stitch. And we finished the third row. Now continue crocheting next rows the same way until you get 22 rows. So we've crocheted 22 rows. And you see it has already a pumpkin shape. Now leave here a tip around 50 cm and cut the yarn. Pull out the tip. And now we will use it to sew our pumpkin here and to tighten these two big holes. I will use for that a needle with a big eye. Now look, uh, we will put this, the right side of the pumpkin, this one, a little bit over the left one, like this, a little bit over. So that our pumpkin would look the same everywhere and the seam wouldn't be visible. To sew the pumpkin here I will use these little holes under these stitches and from the other side 
these little holes here, here, here. So let's start. We insert the needle through the first hole on the other side from the back side, from, from inside of the pumpkin, like this. Now we go down to the next hole on the same side and to the next hole of the other side. Then from the back side, insert the needle through the next hole on the same side. And through the next hole on the other side. Now again go down to the next hole on this side and to the next hole on the other side. Now again, but from the back side, through the next hole here and here. Last stitch. So as you can see, our seam is not visible at all and our pumpkin looks the same everywhere, has the, the same shape. Now put this short tip inside the pumpkin and we will tighten this hole first. For that in, uh, push uh, the tip of the yarn under these stitches around the hole.
so we've pushed our tip under all the stitches around the hole. Now pull this tip strong so that our hole would become smaller. Now let's push the tip under the same stitches around the hole again. Pull the tip again. You can try to do this the third time if you want, but I think when we crochet the green part, a stem here and, and sew it here. Uh, this little hole will not be visible anymore. So this is not a problem. You can leave it like this. And now it's time to fill our pumpkin. You can leave it empty inside if you want, but as for me, it's better to fill it so it would keep its shape better. Especially when you touch it. I will use for that a hollow fiber. It's just a normal feeling for many pillows. That's enough, I think. And what is left is just to tighten this hole too. We will do that completely the same way as we did it with the first hole. We push the yarn under all the stitches around the hole. So now again,
pull the yarn Now cut this yarn that uh, comes from the bobbin. And tie these tapes the same way as we did it before. It will be hidden under the stitches and under the stem. Now push both tips uh, inside the pumpkin. So our beautiful pumpkin is almost ready. We only need to crochet the stems for both sides of the pumpkin and we will start from the back stem. For the stems I will use a 7 9 mm t-shirt yarn, green color, dark green and the same 7 mm hook. First we make a magic ring. Uh, more detailed how to make it if you never tried or if you forgot, you can see in my video about basic crochet techniques. The link I will leave in the description. And now make six single crochet through the magic ring. One, two, Three, four, five, and six. Pull this tip to make a circle. Now 
Join the circle with a slip stitch. I will remind you we insert the hook under the first stitch of the circle of this row. This hook the yarn and push it through the loop on the hook. And we've joined our little circle. Now cut the yarn, leaving a little tip that we will use to sew the stem to the pumpkin. Pull the tip out. And this tip that we've got in the beginning, we will hide under the stitches. I will do it with a needle with a big eye. It's easier. Then just cut this tip. Now we will sew this stem to the pumpkin. To sew the stem to the pumpkin, we will use this tip and the needle with the big eye. We push the needle under the stitches on the pumpkin. And then under the stitch, this stitch of the stem from the back side. Then under the next stitch of the stem. and under the next stitches of the pumpkin. Then under the same stitch on the stem, under the next stitch of the stem, and next stitches of the pumpkin Now just push this tip under the stitches of the pumpkin, under the stem.
and then the rest of the tip you can just hide inside the pumpkin To make the second stem, uh, we again make a magic ring first. Now make five single crochet through the magic ring. Five. Pull the steep to make a circle. Now, without joining the circle, we will start making. 10 single crochet but we will insert the hook only under the back loop of the stitches this is the stitch we will insert the hook only under the back loop and we will make 10 single crochet this way so the first single crochet under the back loop to the next one again under the back loop only two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now we need to expand the stem a little so we could sew it to the pumpkin for that we will crochet two single crochet uh, to the next six stitches so we will make two single crochet to one stitch through the one stitch so to the next stitch first single crochet and the second single crochet to the same stitch to the same second one again to the next stitch also two single crochet one and the second one to the same stitch to the next stitch one two to the next one One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
chill. And to the last one. Two single crochet. So we made two single crochet, two sinks through the six single crochet. And the last step, we make a slip stitch uh, to finish the stem neatly. Also, only under the back loop of the stitch. This tip we will hide inside the stem Here I leave a little tip that we will use to sew the stem to the pumpkin. Pull out the tip. Now we will make here one more stitch so it look it would look better that we insert the needle under the first stitch of this circle that we see now like this and then bring the yarn back to the same place where it comes from and under this stitch now we have here a good circle and we start sewing the stem to the pumpkin And we will do that completely the same way as we did it with the first stem. Um...
on the last stitch now we will also push this tape under the under the stitches of the pumpkin and then just hide it inside the pumpkin And our pumpkin is ready. I hope everything was clear for you and you enjoyed the video, but if you still have any questions, write all of them in comments and I will try to help you. Please support me with your thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials in the future. Thank you for watching and see you soon!